first, I, I would like to give just a little historical perspective, sure. too, because I was around at Department of Homeland Security and National Security Council during the, the rollout of this. And if you, if you look back at the capabilities and the progress that, that Mark and Rod are, are describing, um, that is night and day different than um, the situation that we had prior to this program being rolled out, where actually the Federal Information Security Management Act not only um, in some cases didn't improve security, but may have been counter to security, and that it required each department and agency to produce these massive paper-based binders yeah. on a regularized basis right. about the, the nature of security. It doesn't create, solve anything, and it takes people and resources away from actually securing networks. Yeah. So I used to complain about FISMA like that. Too. Exactly. So. And so uh, not only has the law been updated, but the, the work that DHS and the implementing agencies have done to actually have technology deployed that now now shows them um, where they have assets, what the, the status and security level, the vulnerabilities within those assets, and then to bring in vendors that, you know, we have partnerships with, with Tanium and, and many others that provide different capabilities that, that both through CDM enhance that awareness and capability, give you a dashboard across the federal government, and allow department agencies like, like Commerce and others that are implementing technology on their own to be complemented by the, the CDM capabilities. So we see it as, a, as really a, a great thing and a step forward. Yeah, very 